Hey guys, Fatigue here, and reforging videos seem to be all the rage on TGN right now, so I'm going to teach you guys a little bit about reforging as a hunter. So, bear in mind that reforging can be solely based on personal preference, but I'm going to teach you guys how to springboard yourself and give you a little bit of a starting point on reforging your gear. So, like I talked about in my DPS guide video, there are certain caps that you're going to want to have as a hunter. First off, thanks to a comment on my DPS guy video, the hunter hit cap, it, when I said it was around 950, it's precisely 961. So you're going to want to make sure you have over 961 hit, or exactly at 961 hit. You don't want to have over because you could be using that extra hit in another useful stat. And I'm going to go ahead and talk about that right now. Haste. You're going to want to have about 850 to 900 haste. This is going to be because you want to have your Cobra shot under the 1.66 cast time. Now, this is to maximize your DPS as survival because you're going to want to get three Cobra shots in before your next explosive shot. And of course, haste helps focus regeneration. So that's just going to help your DPS all around. My personal play style that I always like is to stack haste because shooting fast is really, really, really fun. Of course it is. It's really awesome. Just blowing someone's face off. Boom, 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 boom. You're dead. Yeah? It's really great. So, what I recommend is having about eight, about 850 to 900 haste. You could get in those three Cobra shots. You can see now my Cobra shot cast time is at 1.65 second cast. So, I'm able to get three Cobra shots in while explosive shot is on cooldown, which is really great and really convenient. All right. So, moving on to the, to the reforging portion. Now, now, as you can see, a lot of the gear I have here, well, not that, but a lot of the gear I have has a lot of hit on it. And as you're gearing up through heroics and such, you should have no problem getting gear that has a lot of hit. Like right here, see, increases hit rating by 202. And this is from being exalted with Hydro, increases hit rating by 149, increases hit rating by 113 even after I've reforged it. So you should really have no problem stacking hit in the, in the early dungeon stages. Well, not really early dungeon stages. In the early dungeon stages, you want to make sure you have enough hit to not miss on a mob on level 87 or 88, I believe. The normal dungeon bosses, I think, are going to be about level 87. So then you should be good. Once you get to the heroics, you're, you're going to want to hit that bottom hit cap. But the heroic gear is really going to help you do that. So what I do, because I have... If I hadn't reforged any of my hit, it would be... <laughs> Like at 1300 right now, like way up in the thousands. So once you're way over that hit cap, what you're going to want to do is keep working, is start working on what I call the haste cap. And what that is, is the cap to get your Cobra shot under the 1.66 cast time. So, so what you're going to want to do is reforge that extra hit that you have into haste. And of course, as I said before, this is just probably reiterating the point right now, that extra haste that you're getting out of the hit is really going to help you just maximize your DPS and pound out your focus regen and all that stuff. Now, what's really up for debate right now is the mastery and crit versus haste. My theory on that is I really like having the haste. It's a nice cushion because I know it's really helping my DPS right off the bat. As you can see, my mastery rating is a little bit low at 16, and that could be a lot higher. What my policy is with mastery and crit, don't reforge out of it. Don't reforge into it until you're over the haste cap. That's my thing. Never take away mastery and crit for haste, but never take away haste for mastery and crit. That's my thing. I, I like to put those three stats. This is my personal play style, remember. So for all your all you hunters that might like to stack mastery and just have a really powerful slow cover shot, that's your play style. This is my play style. I like to keep them all in the same tier. I don't like to take away from either of them. They go into the other. I like to keep them right there. So... It goes Agi for me. Then we go into the Reforge stats, which would be Hit, Haste, Crit, and Mastery. So Crit would be prioritized over all those three. Then all those three would be down on the next tier. So what I'm also going to talk about is Gemming here. So as I said, Agility is the single best stat for a Survival Hunter right now. So as you can see here, you just want to stack those, those Agility in your um sockets you're just going to want to stack them up a case where you wouldn't want to stack them up is what i have right here you could see 
I'm over the hit cap right now, but I invested in a 20 agility and 20 hit rating gem in this belt. And I was under the hit cap, so I could move that out and put in a 40 agility and get the get just another plus 10 agility. But right now, the socket bonus I have is plus 10 agility. So that's just fine. That's as the amount of an uncommon plus 30 agility delicate carnelian. So that's just fine for me right now until I feel like swapping it out. What I say is blue dungeon gear, you're going to want to go with the uncommon gems because you might not want to invest that much in, into the blue dungeon gear. If you have the budget, obviously just go with rare gems for everything. And once you get to the epics, you want to put rare gems in all those. If you're looking for a budget, a budget meta, I definitely recommend the destructive shadow spirit diamond. This is because once you have the hit rating, you're not going to have more blues than reds to get the plus 54 crit rating and the extra plus 3% critical strike damage. But is that critical strike damage really enough to sacrifice the agility for the two extra blue gems? Personally, this is not that expensive of a meta and it requires two red gems. And as a hunter, you're stacking red gems. So I really do enjoy this gem, even though the 1% 1, the 1 spell reflect isn't that good. And, of course, I have a yellow gem in here, plus 15 agility and plus 15 mastery, so I can get the plus 30 agility socket bonus, which is a very good socket bonus. So, that's what you guys are going to want to know. This is a, a little mini guide to get you started. If you want to know any more specifics, if you have any questions, post them down in the comments. If you hunters would like to add anything to this guide, post them down in the comments. I know it was short, maybe a little bit general, but that's all it was intended to be. Just a general starting point so hunters could know how to start to reforge their gear so they could reforge it with their own style so thanks for watching guys please check out my channel youtube.com slash fatigue subscribe to me subscribe to tgn and until next time guys i'll see you later